Camp Red Cedar's mission is to encourage children and adults of all abilities to move beyond their boundaries through recreational activities, outdoor education, creative arts, and interaction with horses. Joining me today is Michael Kuhn, who is the Director of Development at Camp Red Cedar. Hi, Michael. Hi, Jessica. How are you? Good. Welcome. Thanks. Thanks. Howdy, I should say. Howdy. Right? <laughs> Tipping the hat to of course, you. Of course. of course. I love the get up in the theme of an event that's coming up that we're going to talk about, yes. a little tease. But first, yeah. Camp Red Cedar, mm -hmm. let us know more about him. Yeah, Camp Red Cedar is a really special place. Uh, it's been there since 1989, up on the north side of town. And, mm -hmm. and really, our mission is, as you said, to encourage individuals of all abilities to go beyond their boundaries and to explore, play, and grow at Camp Red Cedar. And we do that through a variety of different programs. Mm -hmm. Number one, and kind of the thing that a lot of people associate us with, are our summer camps. And so during that 10 to 12 week summer camp season, we have some specialty camps for individuals with disabilities. We We've got some that are specific to a, a certain diagnosis. We have others for general disabilities, for kids, and then for adults. And then we also do have camps uh, for kids without disabilities, without any sort of a diagnosis. And we like to integrate those camps and really um, encourage that interaction and advocacy. Um, and then we have year-round therapeutic horseback riding, recreational therapy, private horseback riding lessons, and then something called equine assisted learning, which is great for groups in uh, team building and problem solving and mental health um, and really trying to just develop through that interaction with horses. So that is Camp Red Cedar. And then we also have the Lodge at Camp Red Cedar, um, which is an event venue that we use to help subsidize the cost and bring in some revenue. Right. Uh, it's a beautiful rustic space. And that is where this event that we're going to talk about is going to be held at. It's going to be held. And you know, your facility is so beautiful. Yeah. I mean, just breathtaking. If you all remember, we had visited yes. Camp Red Cedar, toured it. I wrote the horses and really talked to you about about all of the amazing services that you provide and how your organization really goes beyond a normal camp, beyond normal yeah. therapeutic services by providing an experience and a connectivity throughout all of the campers. And that's just such a beautiful yeah. thing. And with that, funds have to be raised in order Absolutely. to support such a nonprofit. So please share with me about the new facility yeah. and the events that you all offer. Yeah, so we can host um, weddings, wedding receptions, uh, corporate events. We just recently had um, kind of a, a two-day strategic planning retreat mm -hmm. with a, a pretty large corporation here in town where they had all of their executives come in. We've got the perfect space for that. Different areas where you can break up and kind of go into those planning sessions. We've hosted fundraisers for other nonprofits. Mm -hmm. um, really anything that you can imagine where you need space for between two and three hundred people, we're the ideal place for that. And you're not going to get views uh, uh, anywhere else. You've seen them yourself. It's beautiful yes. up there. Mm -hmm. We've got a 10 acre lake, 57 acres total <laughs> of wooded land, green grass, at least in the summer, right? <laughs> um, but even in the in the winter where we are right now yeah. with the snow that we just had, mm -hmm. you know, you have those snow-capped trees oh, and the frozen over that. lake. Yes. It's just gorgeous <laughs> out there all seasons of the year mm -hmm. um, and really is just a great place to be able to come and know that those funds are actually serving a purpose beyond yes. just uh, lining the pockets of, of shareholders or owners mm -hmm. and, and really serving a, a mission. Yes, I love that. And that view is so breathtaking. Yeah. I, next Next time it snows, I'm going to drive up just to see <laughs> the snowfall there. Yes. And so the upcoming event, Boots and Bourbon. Yeah. Yes, I love it. So this is a classy yes. cowboy theme. Yes. A classy country theme, yes. rather. Okay. <laughs> Share more with me about Boots and Bourbon. Yeah, so this is our first fundraiser event that we've had since 2007. Oh, wow. And so we are so excited to get back into this realm. And so we thought, what better way to kick it off with than with uh, two things that people here in Northern Indiana love, <laughs> and that's boots and bourbon. And so um, we're going to have a variety of different activities and entertainment throughout the night. We're going to have, um, of course, bourbon and whiskey tastings. Mm -hmm. um, so each guest will have uh, the opportunity to taste two different ones or have a signature bourbon cocktail oh. that will be provided by uh, Charlie Horse Mobile Bar. Um, and so we're really excited about yes. that special 
special for that event. We're going to have live bluegrass music by the Dead mm -hmm. Picker Society. They're kind of a local regional band here in town. Um, we're super excited about that entertainment aspect. We're going to have a meet and greet with our a uh, couple of our horses right out front. So as you're oh, walking okay. in the door, you're going to get a chance to <laughs> snap that selfie or, or just interact with some of our horses right off the bat. Uh, we're going to have, of course, a live and silent auction. And the cool thing about the silent auction is even if you're not able to go to the event itself, mm -hmm. you're going to be able to bid on those items online. We're going to have that posted on our social media and on, uh -huh. our, on our website here within the next week or so. Okay. Some really great items there that you're going to want to check out and, and uh maybe even bid on if you, if you feel so moved. Um, and then we're also gonna have kind of that inspirational speech um, from some people that have been directly impacted. Mm. And of course, I forgot to mention delicious food as well. Oh, of course. We've got six <laughs> different local um, area vendors and, and caterers um, there to provide heavy hors d'oeuvres and desserts. Um, wow. So you're gonna kind of get that variety and kind of pick what really is sounding good for you that mm -hmm. night um, and just have a good time. That's yes. what it's all about. Okay, so you know that I'm a Texas girl. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. So I love the theme. And is there going to be dancing and line dancing? A little boots and boogie? So there's not going to be any sort of organized, <laughs> okay. but you know what? That bourbon is going to be flowing. Right, right. The beer and wine is going to be flowing. The music is going to be playing. We would love to see people get up on the floor uh, and have fun in that way. If, if they're having fun and that much fun, we know that they're, we're going to accomplish the goals that we set out because yes. they're going to be enjoying themselves and feeling generous. Um, yeah. And that is ultimately the goal beyond just fun is, of course, to raise those funds um, yes. to, to help our mission. <laughs> and this is going to be our largest fundraiser of the year. So we're really relying on people yeah. to, to, to show up and want to support our mission um, in this way. All right. I love it. And I know that there's only a few tickets left. Yes. Yes. We are officially under 20 tickets tickets wow. left. So um, it is down to the wire. Mm -hmm. If you are seeing this right now and you have any desire to come, you got to get on right now, campredcedar.com. You better get on it quick because those are going to go real fast. We yes. only got about three weeks left until yes. the event, yes. so it's going to happen fast. All right. Well, thank you so much, Michael, for coming in. Give me a little yeehaw. Yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> got a yeehaw. Got to lasso in those last few viewers, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. If you would like more information about the Boots and Bourbon event, listen, now is the time to look it up. This event takes place on March 2nd and tickets are limited. We'll have their website information listed below. Get your tickets and we'll be right back.